Over the last 13 years, Mattel has released countless versions of Mather, some of which are incredibly unique. Others were unfortunately canceled and lost by the wayside. And lastly, some didn't even appear in the movie. And that does go for Mather with 95 hat here. He did appear with the souvenir hat, but he never actually had it on his head. And last time I checked, Mater did not have a gaping hole in his roof either. So a little bit of a plot glitch there, I guess. Mattel could have chosen from many other versions of Mater with hats. I mean, they did already do the lightning bolt one, and there were even a bunch of other ones in the movie, but they decided to go with this one. Now, don't get me wrong, I like this version of Mater a lot. It's all metal, all die-cast metal, making it super heavy and definitely worth your buck. And I could have easily seen Mattel making this a deluxe by putting the 95 hat already on Mater. So I'm grateful that it's actually a separate attachment there. Now, before we get into the review here of Mater with the number 95 hat, I did want to point out a few things. He is in case age of singles for 29. 19, which I did unbox several days ago. If you missed that video or just want to see it again, you can check out the link in the description below or the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. I first reviewed Andrew Vrooman from that case, the first ever El Camino Mattel has released. I put a poll on that video asking out of these three cars, who did you want to see me review next? And made her one with only 56% of the vote, meaning the other 44% of people wanted to see these two instead. So on this video, I'm going to ask, do you want to see Todd crash from the Thunder Hollow next? Or would you prefer to see Nigel Gearsley's pity, Nick Pittire? Completely up to you guys. I would prefer, I'm going to vote myself for Todd Crash just because he's so much more unique than Nick. We've seen many other World Grand Prix pities. Instead, we've only seen pretty much, you know, I mean, we've never really seen any cars like Todd before. No other similar models. So that's cool. But now let's get into the review here of Mater. Another weird thing about him is that they put him in the Florida 500 series and he didn't appear there. Of course, we'll talk about where he did kind of appear later in the video, but just keep that in mind. They did use the artwork from just the regular Mater and this does happen to be his Cars 2 artwork because he's got that little spy stealthy look to him, but it is kind of, I don't know, cluttered with all these warnings and choking hazards. On the back, we have a bunch of cool cars like Keon Motoray, Bob Cutlass, and Steve Herschel, who I reviewed a couple weeks ago. I'll put some of those links in the description below. And then you have fabulous Lightning McQueen, who has been included in the last couple of cases. So if you missed them the first time around or just want to get the Thailand variant. Now the description reads, it's the opening race of the Piston Cup season. Who will take home the championship? And then you have a nice picture of the stadium as cars are filling in before the race starts. So I'll be right back with Mater all opened up. Here is Mater out of the package and he's looking awesome, but he is far different from all the other Maters we've ever gotten just in terms of the rust style and the expression. We're so used to this expression and the more brown rust, but now it's brighter, kind of orangish, even though I know it's not supposed to be. It just looks different. And I guess that's a good thing. We did need a little bit of a refresh for Mater. And so now that he's coming from Thailand, we got that. And I think they even made him more different since he is this 95 hat variation, which let's see if we can attach it so Mater doesn't look like, I don't know, he's being operated on. So of course you want the dots to be facing you. And yeah, you just press it and that's pretty easy. Can you take it out? Yeah, you can even take it out once it's in there. So that's awesome. A lot of accessories nowadays, if you just 
plug it in, it's not coming out. You're not getting that thing out again. So I did want to make sure I showed you guys on camera about that. So let's get into his kind of weird appearance. So Mather is FaceTiming McQueen. McQueen's in Mac. They're having the conversation and Mather's just kind of playing around in his junkyard there. You can even see the lightning bolt accessory that he has later on in the movie. Or actually, no, I misspoke there. He already wore that, so it was back in his junkyard. And it's kind of cool that they show that again. And then he's kind of got this little cart that looks like himself. It's like a little miniature mater, I guess. And he has the 95 accessory on the cart, but he never mounts it on his head himself. And at the Florida 500, which of course, is the series he's in he's wearing a foam piston cup hat that engulfs like his entire roof it looks like kind of like a foam finger type deal but on his head and it's actually really cool i think it says 95 on it as well so they should have released that instead of this but i think that would have definitely had to be a deluxe because that foam piston cup looks ginormous so i guess we're getting some sort of mater maybe a little expanded universe because we can assume that he did wear this at some point maybe at a future florida 500 race or some other race but i did want to talk about that now getting into the review of just mater himself here you can see he's got a nice little smiling expression typical buck teeth he's got of course only one headlight the other one was knocked out back in Mather private eye i guess that's you know where they say he originally lost his taillight or headlight my bad of course we have a nice look at the engine there kind of this peach tone around his mouth there and then the rest of it is darker you have a little bit of blue around the fenders there where it stayed closer to his original color same thing back here and during or in the center of his bed, which makes sense because that is the area where it's least exposed to the elements and rain and whatnot. Some rain was probably dropped or covered from the towing cables and so leaving that area not as rusty. Of course, tow mater, towing and salvage radiator springs. A little grainy, but I think we can allow that for a rusty car like himself. Now, as for the eyes, the eyes themselves are actually very nice and clear, but along the eyelid there, you can see it does get a tad grainy, which is unfortunate, but you can really only see it when you're zoomed in on a camera like mine here. And if you actually run your finger across the eye component here, it's actually very smooth, which is a little strange. I guess it's just the material they use for it. Now on the roof here, we can get a better look at the 95 accessory. Again, I don't know, the paint just looks a little bubbly at the base here, but maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know, but the yellow is fine. I think it looks really cool. We've been waiting for this release for over a year and like four months since this guy was originally revealed via a Walmart listing. That is just crazy to me, the fact that this guy, I think it was like September or October of 2017. Yeah, the him, Leroy Hemming, Shreerum, Chris Roman, Michael Roeder, all those cars were revealed and they were all released at different times. Craziness. I guess it's that Thailand switch that really jazzed things up. But you can see he's got his overhead light here and the siren. A113, that traditional license plate, some taillights, the little bucklings. I think this part is very, very detailed back here. You can see like the mud and dirt, splatters. On this side, he's got a white rim. Of course, the two front ones are brown. And this one is supposed to be yellow, but it looks like they remixed that and changed it. Now, the rims look far more realistic than they used to. I mean, you had this bright yellow rim before and this bright white or blue rim, which didn't really make sense. I like how now they're definitely more rusted and more realistic. So that's cool. And also this guy is so heavy, like I mentioned before. Instead of your typical Mater that's been released over the past few years here from China, where the front portion is the only die cast part and the back half is entirely plastic. And this feels far cheaper than this. Like this feels really high quality. And I'm super impressed that Thailand is really stepping up their game. I mean, it just looks so much better overall and so much more realistic in terms of the rust. It's almost like Pixar becoming better and better at animation. 
and making the water and elements and nature look more realistic. It looks like Mattel is getting better with the realism of the rust. Now, the only thing I would say digressed a little bit is the towing cables here. They're like orange, oranges brown, whereas before they were definitely more of a subtle brown, which looked better in my personal opinion. But of course, you do have that change in the towing cables there. This hook is far higher and it's definitely thicker and bolder. Whereas this is longer and it kind of waves around this. There's really no move to that at all. So definitely note that. The tail lights are now colored in and they're bigger. So many differences from China to a Thailand here. It's really kind of interesting. You look at the windows there. Very interesting how this all kind of changed over just simply moving production. This was the typical Mather you would get in, I don't know, early 2018. And now here is the Thailand, just regular version of Mather. And even this looks super different. Granted, you still have like the longer towing cables back there. And I think I'm not sure about the rims. We can't really see that, but I don't know. They did change quite a few things amongst all these different versions of Mater. Like I said at the beginning of the video, countless versions of Mater. No exaggeration there. Now, I do want to compare them to a couple other versions of Mater that we've gotten over the years just for fun. Starting with the most recent one, this Mater with 95 or lightning bolt hat, which I reviewed in November, I think, of last year, that link will be in the description below and the card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner if you'd like to check it out. Let me know in the comments section below, this is the question of the day, which Mater from Cars 3 do you prefer, Lightning Bolt or 95 hat? I'm definitely going with the Lightning Bolt since it's so big and just, I love it. it really looks cool. And this also, you know, he looks like he has the Precision Series model here. And this, which is a Chinese version of Mather, the expressions kind of look the same there. And so now you have a completely never before used expression, which I, I really do like. That's awesome. Change is good. And I do want to also mention, I know so many also's, but the headlight there, it looks far more realistic than those. Like it's literally just colored in gray, whereas this, there's a little bit more to it. So that's awesome. Let's get those two guys out of there. Here's of course, Cone Teeth Mater. Now I kind of misspoke at the beginning of the video. He's not technically lost by the wayside. He'll be re-released or released for the first time very soon, unless he's canceled again. From Thailand though, this is an official Chinese prototype from when he was supposed to be released in 2016. He was also supposed to be released in 2010, so Mater with Cone Teeth has had, you know, to say the least, some issues. Some issues getting released. Here's Taco Truck Mater that I showed earlier. One of my favorite versions of Mater. Kabuki Mater. Mather really had his height, his zenith of his career in like 2013 when they were spanking out all of these different versions of Mather. I think it was even a series dedicated to Mather. I think, yeah, they totally did have a Mather series back in 2013 where they released Kabuki Mather, Mather Hosen, which I don't have here, and Francesco Fan Mather, who is probably my all-time favorite Mather just because of how crazy he looks. I love the hot sign there. This was also a Chase piece, one of the only Chase Deluxes. There were some Chase Super Chase or Super Chase Deluxes, but I don't think any other just regular Chases. Now here are your Disney World and Disneyland exclusives, Goofy Hat Mater and Pirate Mater. And really the only times we've seen Mater with hats on, willingly. I'd say the Cone Teeth Mater is not really a hat. Now, I would say that the leaves aren't a willingly, like I want to wear this type thing. It's more I crash into a tree and they're now stuck on my head type of deal. But I guess you could argue Kabuki Mater had a hat on there and the 95 Bolt is kind of like a hat. So yeah, interesting stuff here. I just wanted to show you guys those. 
And last but not least to round it out is the Mater with the Spyglass here, which is the one that did not appear in Cars 2, but I think it was a concept art that Pixar just released to Mattel accidentally, and then Mattel just produced it based off concept art. But, you know, same thing goes for a lot of cars like Tombay with the oil can, probably maybe even from the same scene as that Spyglass Mater. We don't know. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And let's get a little for the 500 action going on here. A little make believe for the 500 because of course we know Mater didn't appear with that hat, but we're gonna pretend. Thanks again, by the way, for all the support you guys have been leaving on my recent videos. It's been a absolute blast making all these videos recently. I've kind of slipped lately over the past couple days in my production. I wanted to get some of these videos out earlier. I'm still working on my Toy Story trailer video. I want it to be really, really good. Like I want to scope every possible minuscule detail out of it. Like there's Star Wars figures in there. There's so much to be broken down that I want to make it really thorough and nice for you guys instead of just producing it within an hour of it coming out, which is more of a reaction because you know, you don't really have much time to think and digest it. So I'm really sitting on uh, doing my research. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. And then tomorrow or the day after, I'll probably review whoever wins this poll, which I hope will be Todd Crash. Please guys vote for Todd Crash. I'm endorsing him entirely here. And then we'll do Nick Pittire. And then on Saturday, we have Team Easy Idol, which will be episode two of my Piston Cup Team series. So I'm excited about that. Next Thursday will probably finally be Throwback Thursday episode three, and we'll see how to proceed on from there. Hopefully I can get some new cars in, but I mean, I don't know. They've been releasing a lot of new cars here recently, and I feel like there's bound to be a little break. There's always a little break in here somewhere, but maybe not. We'll see what happens. And last thing I want to say, I am feeling a little under the weather, a little sick right now. And I don't know if it's just like a today thing, but if I do get worse, the videos may be delayed even further. So I apologize about that, but I'm just anticipating it. Knock on wood here, I don't get sick. So thanks again. Sorry for rambling. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully for another video. Bye now.